So what I talked about when I did my presentation was a little bit of where we've come from, so our, our history, the last 94 years, but I also gave people a vision of where we're going to and, and very definitely everyone's consuming knowledge and information in a different way and we're investing in that digital platform where we've already started on that journey and it's really key because I know in five years time it's unlikely I'll be buying books I'll be wanting just a flat file PDF so absolutely users of standards want that same ability when they're um, looking at how can they consume standards in the future. It's, it's both user feedback but it's also looking at the trends, looking at what is happening with information um, content, what are our peers doing around the world and not just that, where is the publishing, if you like, the, the publishing world moving and um, as for all of us we know it's moving much more quickly including some really funky things like augmented reality, um, embedding videos, having interactive information. So it's nothing like what we're doing now. It's going to be really different in the future. I think that's a really important point because if you think about a standard, while I think it's a beautiful thing all on its own, it's only useful if someone implements it and they can only implement it if they understand it. And sometimes to get the precision in a written document, we use quite awkward language, quite structured language. To actually work out what it means for me as a practitioner, then a YouTube video might help, or a diagram, or um, a case study. So all the sorts of ways that are going to help standards be implemented well is really key and I don't know what they will be for any one standard but we've got to look at every every option available to us. Um, conferences like this are a couple of opportunities. One is quite frankly just to say thank you because organisations like yours, like the FPAA, you are giving us those contributors who mean that we've got access to the right people for our standards. So one very important is to say thank you, doing a great job, a really good partnership, but the other is to raise awareness about what's the role of standards in that overall technical infrastructure. We're one part of the standards, accreditation, certification and metrology ecosystem. We don't work in isolation but we're also not the regulators so just putting our role in context is really important. Look I think we've got um, a really strong partnership as you mentioned it's industry, it's the Australian Building Codes Board, it's standards, we're working really strongly together. We'll never have perfect and ideal relationships but my goodness we're all looking at how can we improve? How can we do things better and simpler? If we get feedback that we're a difficult organisation to work with, how do we look at those processes and say, what can we do to make it easier for people? How do we communicate? So I think it's, it will always keep evolving. And I think we're really coming on the journey together because in the end, we want a safe and um, fun and appropriate physical environment to live in.